Hey guys, welcome back, Maris here, and today we have, yes, New World, and this time let's make a video about logging. I will teach you everything and show everything you need to know to become a master of logging. And I mean everything. There are some videos around where actually trigger me because there is a lot of information missing beside which I don't like. Let's start with the main thing what this is all about all the videos at least captured this part that's that's something uh to become a master um lumberjack this is the main thing you need to be aware of we are going for 25 percent chop uh, there's a chance uh, chop down a tree with a single swing there's a trick why this is important first of all you now understand you need 300 at least 300 constitution with your points with your tools with your buffs everything counts in we'll get to that in a moment once you have that let me show you how and what it looks like basically you make a one swing which i do with especially i picked quite poor star metal logging axe i have way better in my inventory but i'm picking the worst one so you see the comparison and one swing the tree goes down okay two swings so you see i am doing a little trickery here and the trickery is simple i need to explain these 25 percent let me bring up the screen they are calculated on the first swing because if you approach a tree and just click e and it starts swinging if the first chop didn't take the tree down, basically that's it. There was 25% chance, no, nothing, then you keep chopping. The trick is you need to restart that first chop and you can do that in two ways. First way is chopping, jumping. As you can see, it stops the full. Then you start again. And as you can see, every single one of these chops are additional can trigger it doesn't mean it will there's 25 percent for example that tree absolutely no bonuses here first chop let me try to show you i need mean, some bigger trees uh the 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 thing is basically starting and restarting the chop that's the thing right yes the third actually the tree needed four swings went down is the third restarted and that's basically it that's the key of this thing oh yeah i mentioned you there are two tactics how to do it the jumping i don't like jumping because it takes time before you can restart see you jump when you land after a while you can hit again e if you like it yeah try try it out I like the second tactic. Second tactic is just holding the movement uh, bars. Basically, you start chopping and then I, ho I hold immediately. When you start chopping, I, I run on the side. And there's a reason why I run on, on the side. Uh, okay, that was quite lucky. And once the animation stops, then you hit E again with the mouse, of course, keeping on the tree. And I can't show you, but you get the idea. You see, you see that one chop, uh, uh, random thing, and that's it. That's the thing. Currently, you see, I'm chopping the young tree that goes down quite well, anyways. But the same thing, absolutely the same, applies to every single type of the trees. The the weird wood, the iron wood, all of them, which which are way stronger, one chop and they can be down. If they need more chops, then you have more chance to again trigger the same thing. I'm trying to show you how fast you can do this. And let me, okay, there's an enemies. Let me show you why I like moving on the side. Once there is a chance you can trigger and cut down the tree with one chop, that means traveling between those trees become way more important uh, when you arrive and the, the tree goes down it can go down at any of the chops we have. none of them will be here but anyways 
let me try to trigger it. Once it happens, again, randomizer gods hate me. They, they don't want me to make this video. So here, at this exact moment, you need to be already uh, moving to the next tree. So that movement, while you are triggering, as you can see, I'm, I'm moving around in the direction, basically, of the next tree. So you see? And I'm already at the next tree, basically, instantly. If there is a gap between trees, I make a dodge roll. So now, as you can see, chopping, you understand? Two tactics to um, stop it and then restart. Uh, movement. Now we need to cover extra things that other videos simply just doesn't do. I don't know why. They don't want you to know all the information. Here it is. Everything you see here in my inventory, what I'm wearing, is specifically designed for lumberjack purposes. Um, first off, remember you need those 300 uh, constitution? Pay attention at lumberjack hat. There's a lumberjack set. As you can see, every item has a word lumberjack. Go to trading station, type down lumberjack, and you will see they are greens, they are uh, blue items, uh, they are different levels, different bonuses, basically whatever you can with the price you are willing to pay, let's go for it. I gathered this set, not a single piece, I'm, I'm quite, I, I don't like to spend money, not a single piece was um, more expensive than 200. It's still 1000 comes together, but at the end it's worth it. Two things here. One, you need that constitution, and this set, it is uh, light, light items. As you can see, you are wearing, you are in light load. That's one thing which allows you to do the um, dodge roll, which moves you faster. And second thing, all of them has this um, chance to find rare items. Rare items, they're freaking best. Basically, you need, these are end game items. At lower, lower levels, you don't need to worry about that. At higher end, when you're chopping ironwood, you want to have as much this luck as you can get. That's one thing. It doesn't stop there. Look at my <clears throat> poor, poor items. Actually, I purchased this for 40 something. Um, so it has constitution because I still need a lot of constitution. Even if I'm a tank in this build currently, uh, this additional logging, uh, rare find chance, yes please. Second items don't have this logging, but they still have constitution and this, oh boy, 16 constitution. I don't need that refreshing word, whatever the bonus it is, but constitution, that's what you need. You need 300. And over this side, these two items are also picked up uh, quite specifically. Bow for two reasons. Yes, constitution. Second one is movement. We'll cover that in a second. And this one has no constitution, has no locking. Why the hell I'm running with hatchet? All right. Most of the woods, especially weird wood and iron wood, will be on locations where are enemies. I am standing at one of the best spots where to farm weird wood. I will show you those enemies. So you need to be able to fight back. That's simple. Of course, if I had a hatchet with constitution, I probably wouldn't take it because I have enough constitution. So basically, whenever you have a 300, yes, that's where you want to stand. All right. Cover the um, gears part. Now, why I have the bow? Bow, if you don't know, I already triggered. Look at the bonus. I can have a bonus that adds additional speed. Speed is what you're up after. Let me quickly show, there's a bow. What you want are those two items. This third is rarely triggered, but hey, extra speed. There's a chance that when there are three enemies around, you can get faster. Then this is just, um, this was the other option, whatever you pick the second, but the third, where after a dodge, you have a, a haste. And this one, whenever you swap to your bow, you have a haste. So you can see, 
this will trigger every time you dodge. This will trigger with this 10 sec second cooldown two out of five times. But it's still, this is one of the fastest way to travel without any ability, nothing. As you can see, I have not a single ability. Let me demonstrate how to do it. If you don't know, quickly covering this as well. We have a light load, right? That means you can see light load allows me to quick roll that covers a lot of distance. It looks something like this. And the problem is, let's cover first problem. If you're running and then hitting, you see it fast forwards and then stops basically. Whenever you, speak, uh, you end the lo uh, long jump, long roll, dodge roll, you are slower. How to avoid it is when you press the dodge in the same time you need to pick up or put down your weapon with X. Basically shift and X are two buttons you are working with. One, when you click a shift right after you need to swap weapon. That will cancel that slowing part. Let me try to demonstrate it so you can see. Running, dodge swap. You see, dodge swap was slow, dodge swap. So you see from the camera movement, it does not slow down. At one moment when I'm dodging, it only fast forward. This is how you get speed by just dodge rolling. And remember those two times haste? Pay attention to the uh, this, this, this side where I have bonuses. I can trigger and have two of them with the cooldown. So running with the bow and dodge rolling and Canceling that slow effect is one of the fastest way. I'm not saying the fastest because there's uh, the rapper that animation where you fast forward or whatever. Many types how you can travel, but basically this is my favorite. Just simple as that. Why? Because remember, we are here to chop down a trees, which not always happens so fast, but once it happens, why it's not. It's always a question when you can't trigger the single chop. Do I have all the constitution I need? That's you need to check if you sometimes uh, change your... No, it's all good. Just a randomizer, the gods hate me. So you see, hit, hit, restart. We are at the next tree. When this tree goes down, I'm roll with the extra speed. I'm speed, I'm the killer of trees, I'm the lumberjack, I'm the forest god. Well, not only me, now, when you know all this information, you can be as well. So that basically covers most of the parts. Now we'll just add four more things as a bonus, because you are watching this awesome video and you are absolutely amazing. This is everything you need to become a master lumberjack. Two more things I will add uh, right away. There are, when you pick a forest, all right, there are, okay, let's start this. There are four Wu types. Two of them are rare, growing only specific spaces that will cover in a moment, but two are the random, the, the, the basic, young and mature, and you will need a lot of them to make those other, anyways, you will be logging and chopping them down a lot. Here are two tips to pick up the right forest. Wherever you are your location, wherever are your home, hearthstone, inn, whatever. First off, try to find a forest where it's flat. Whenever you see, whenever you find a forest, this is quite flat, flat, but there are some mountainous areas. Don't go there. There is one specific reason why, because when you dodge roll and move forward, you need to be able to position yourself right away. When you are on those uh, mountainous areas, there's most likely also are rocks and everything that you need to climb over that slows you down. When you have a flat, relatively flat like this, this is the absolute perfect in terms of flatness. The second thing that you want to avoid, you want to avoid the forest, which is full of those bushes. You see, I'm rolling, from here, 
and clicking it. Oh yes, I pick up the bush or the flint. So if you can find a forest where there's nothing else more than a trees on a flat area, that's where you want to chop. There are some guides that advise to chop down young, uh, young trees in really mountainous areas. And I went there. This is a nightmare position. This is the worst. You can't target, you can't find. Remember, if the tree does not fall down with the single chop, you need to restart it. And uh, as per my advice, you will be moving. If that movement around the tree is blocked by something, anything, uh, no go. That includes landscape. So you lose the speed. And when trees fall down in such fast manner, oh, sorry, uh, the distance, how you uh, travel between those trees really, really makes an effect. And that's, that's, that's the difference from the viewers that watch other poor videos and don't know about this. And then they are, oh, I'm running to the tree. Yes, tree. No, 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 you are not like that. You are here for the absolutely master lumberjack class, okay? And you get it. So, you know the constitution, you know the trick, you know the jumping or running, you know how to tr pick up the trees for young and mature. Let's cover the last two parts. I will just show you. Um, down in the description will be a map for both of those um, uh, interactive uh, maps where you can find basically anything you want but also um, the trees where to find the specific trees. I am standing for the weird wood, that's the weird wood, uh, the best location where to farm. And yes, you can type down in internet and most of the guides will say yes, Brightwood is the best pa uh, place to farm weird wood. One of the locations is up here, I guess one was somewhere here, but this this is the best. And I will show you, I will show you a little bit more than they show you. That's the reason why you're watching this video. Here, first of all, there is a shrine. You can teleport to back and forth. Damn, that's, that's cool. And then here, there is a two caves. One cave here, one cave here. In both of them are inside weirdwood trees that you probably, that's the shrine. Whenever you come out of the shrine up here, you think, yes, this is the cave everyone is talking about. This is where you want to farm. Absolutely not. And why not? Because that one dude already knows the answer. <laughs> I want to go in and show you the trees. Oh, someone already chopped all of them. This is why you need that. So here, as you can see, there are just stumps. They are weird wood right here. But better place, you can chop them down too as well, but better outside here where this guy is already running because that's a farmer. That's the farmer thing to do. There are three dogs that spawn right here. One, two, three, really close location. And yeah, these are the ones. If you chop them down, Oh, this little mud. So he's chopping and the result is, reason why you want to chop the dog, it gives you way more wood. It gives 80, approximately 80 weird wood, where the small trees, you know what small trees does? I need to steal it. Oh, yes, I stole it. So, <laughs> the small tree gives you only 15 or something trees. So, let me show you the proof. Here will pop up. 87 weirdwood. Way more than actual trees. So, actually, these, these enemies are the things you want to farm. That's not the only place where they, where they are. In the same interactive map down in the description, there will, you can choose the enemy type and you can find where those dogs are. They are spawning... Here, 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 here. 
basically there and they have quite fast respawn rate the problem here is uh, you need to travel quite a lot and this this absolutely best location there are three of them right next to without a lot of running it takes a bit time to respawn but that guy that guy knows yes he's already yes he's farming that one all right let me farm this one and just show you Ah, did I mention that one chop trigger can be have can happen also on these? You saw there was one chop, and it was collected. Anyways, this is for weirdwood, and then the last part I need to show you where is ironwood. And for ironwood, currently I have the same problems as everyone else. It is very little on the map. So on the map. If you look at the big map, there is Eden Grove. An Eden Grove, there's an outpost where you can teleport to and a shrine, basically both of these locations. And then, basically here around, pay attention to this road. I will mark the locations for the iron wood. It's there, 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 and there, there, here. As you can see the pattern along this road, there's a lot of locations up here, basically this whole area. Then last one is here, then here, then here, there and there. So basically this whole area is with ironwood. Uh, if you have a tracker, you can track it, but yeah, the same interactive map will always help. And this is the iron wood. The problem is, everyone knows about this location. This is the best location where iron wood is located um, in, in a close of proximity. I can't, that's not the word I can pronounce. So they are near each other. <laughs> but uh, that means a lot, of a lot of people are farming them. For example, here, I showed you this location. This guy, he already knows. He's already like, no, I'm farming here. So be aware of this. Whenever you find out any good location for any materials, someone else probably will be there as well. So go there when no one is playing or whatever. You get, you know, you know how it goes in MMO RPGs. Uh, that's that's the casual. So currently, at the morning, I I was farming for my purposes this iron wood. Now, at the afternoon, there are like five, six people waiting at the, every location of the Ironwood, like, eh, no. So yeah, that's it, basically. You know absolutely everything you need to know. How, where, what to do. And of course, okay, fine, one extra bonus. I will throw in one extra bonus, just because you are awesome. Yeah, life quintessences are also here. The extra bonus is whenever you pick a weapon, not weapon, a tool, there are different types of bonuses. For example, this one is absolute garbage. I picked up only for the video, so it's not chopping down trees too fast. So I can show you the actual um, re real life simulation, basically. Real life, because I was going tank build and approximately 4550 was the level when I was able to collect in total 300 constitution. Don't think you can at level 10 get 300 constitution and start using this tip. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. And around that level is star metal logging axe. That's why it's real life situation. But the last tip is well, the, well where the real stuff is here. Don't think that durability that the third random uh this this is absolute i don't care what is there you are going for azos extraction and logging lack both of them remember we have all the set for logging lack where you can get extra um rare items out of the wood so stacking more with the axes yeah that, that that's good that's good and second is azos azot extraction some of you might be wondering yeah wh why the hell not um extra yield because there's another the third bonus could be 
so you can get up to 20% more wood out when you are chopping. Reason is simple. When you see any harvesting tool with yield, uh, azoth, extraction and rare find, they will cost half of your house. They are super pricey because those three are the best items for any gathering material. Uh, why those two and why I teleported back home to show you these rares. This is absolutely end game items. They are coming together when you chop down where the iron wood, the iron wood. When you chop it down, when you have all, all the gear with extra luck, you can get those two. You're wondering, yeah, okay, you can make better items from it. Not only. This is the absolute end game item. This is glittering ebony. You need those both of them quite a lot to create this this uh, plank. So yeah, that rare at the end game will absolutely be needed. So that explains why you need that logging. Then Azot, remember, we were teleporting right here to the shrine. It costs me 135. If you arrive there and there are already three bots or, or players farming the same position, the same location, that's not good. You are teleporting or running away. So you see the extra azot while you're doing this traveling will be helpful. Trust me, it will be. It's the burning azot, especially when you're jumping from location to location to find a tree where someone is not farming it is quite expensive. So the last the obvious reason why not yield? Yield, yes, of course, you would probably be happy to have it, but the reality, whenever someone creates such item, either it's too expensive to buy, and second, most important, it's not worth it. Why I'm saying not worth it is Weirdwood, the location I showed, you, I gathered 6,000 weirdwood in just in a gif of like, I actually was surprised how fast it was. So weirdwood is not a problem. Aged wood is in every single location on the map. The young wood, it's everywhere. Basically, those first three woods are absolutely no problem. It just takes extra time. And now when you know how to chop it, that extra time is no time actually. Just running around and getting all the forest in your backpack. The iron wood, the iron wood is the only problem, but you don't need it that much. So I'm, I'm just trying, I'm not, basically I'm giving you excuses not to worry about the third yield. Of course, if you have it, this, I think I had, I had at least one, one item. Yeah, this is the perfect, this is the perfect tool. It has azot, it has more resources coming, the yield, and it has luck, right? Quite low level, I need to upgrade, but anyways. So that's whenever you pick up the tool, especially the end game, look for the rare. And then the azot for traveling purposes. And then it, if you can have more yield, but yeah, again, trees are everywhere. Anyways, I need to stop. You need, you already know everything you are now basically graduates and master uh, lumberjack, so congrats. I don't... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare healing me in my video. So, yeah, you know everything. If you have any questions, down in the description, I will try to in, in also describe the steps and everything and give the links to the map and everything so you know exactly how and where to do this. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We will meet in next videos. Unfortunately, beavers have to wait a little bit because this game is urgent because there is a lot of bad videos are out there and need to fix it. I need people to provide truth. Okay, so a lot of work to do. We'll meet in those videos. Cheers.